Bodybuildingschool.com and this is your slim down get fit with hit workout. This is for this 5K spring training series. Come join me for a Wednesday workout up on my rooftop. Hit training boosts your metabolism way up, so you're burning fat and toning up even when you're not working out. If you're new to working out, do this workout once, and if you really want to challenge yourself, hit the repeat button and do this three times through. I'll start each move off by showing you an example like I'm showing here. These are toe touch jump squats. You're gonna start off by extending both hands up towards the sky. As you lower yourself down into a squat, take that right arm and touch the opposite foot. At the same time, take your left arm back behind you into a tricep extension. And lift off onto your feet as you jump up. Abs are tight, make sure you're really pushing your butt back as you squat down low and power through when you jump up at the top. Here's two different modifications if this is really challenging and you wanna work up to this move. You can either skip the squat and just extend your arm down to toe touch, or you can toe touch with the squat. And then when you work up to it, add in the hop at the top. All right, take a 10 second rest here. Every move that we do in this workout is gonna be 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Your next move is a donkey kick. I'll go through this two times before we jump into our 30 seconds. In a tabletop position, you're going to bring your right knee into your elbow and then extend up towards the sky with your foot flat. You're going to act like you're almost putting a footprint on the ceiling. So let's go. Here's your 30 seconds. Abs are tight and you're going to bring that knee right into your elbow. This is a great move to engage your arms, your abs, and your legs. And you're really going to feel this in your glutes and hamstrings, so it's going to lift and tighten your butt. I'll always give you a countdown when you have 10 seconds left. So here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, now take that 10 second rest before we hop into our next move. You can even come into child's pose to really stretch this out. Let's even it out and go for a donkey kick with the right leg. Right knee comes into the elbow and as you raise up, you put a footprint on the ceiling. Make sure that foot is flat as you raise it up. Are your abs engaged? Are they tight? Now's a good time to check. Last 10 seconds here, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You know the drill by now. Take a quick 10 second break. Let's go into a squat press. Grab your weights or a couple water bottles and position them at shoulder height. Come down into a squat, and as you come back up to standing position, you're going to raise your arms up into a press. Now let's hit this for 30 seconds. As you're coming down into a squat, make sure you're pushing your butt back so that your knees don't go over top of your toes. Make sure you're engaging your arms, abs, and legs on this move. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. It's time to get your heart rate way up by doing this burpee shuffle. We're going to do it for 30 seconds and I'll give you an example right here. So this is just practice. We're gonna come into a burpee 
and then shuffle two steps to the right and then two steps to the center. Do another burpee, then shuffle two steps to the left, two steps to the center, and then repeat. All right, it's time to do our full 30 seconds with high intensity. Jump up, come down into a burpee, to the center, jump up again, shuffle to the left, two to the center, back into a burpee. Jump up, two to the right, two to the center, back into a burpee, and repeat. Only 10 seconds left, full intensity. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, lunge chops. Let's do a few for practice right here. Grab a weight or a water bottle and come down into lunge position. Raise your arms up high and as you come down into that lunge position with your arms extended straight, you wanna chop down to the side. Are you ready for your 30 seconds? Let's go. For an extra high intensity burst, add a jump as you switch legs into a lunge. If you're a beginner and this is something that you're gonna work up to, you can skip that hop in the middle and just step into your lunges. And keep incorporating that chop in there and you can work up to doing the hop in between the lunge. Let's finish strong. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Take 10 seconds to rest, you earned it. Now we're gonna go into jumps. You can use pretty much anything to jump over. I stacked my weights. The higher you go, the harder it is to jump over top. 30 seconds, here we go. You're tapping your feet from side to side, and now that you've got this move down, let's add some more intensity to this. Go a little bit faster, challenge yourself, push yourself. And for anybody just starting out, I'll show you the modification right here. You're just gonna step from side to side without the jump. But I wanna challenge you to go all out and do the full jump. Go a little faster for these last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's have some fun with a deadlift. Grab your weight, and with a slight bend in your knee, lower down into a deadlift. As you come to the top, do a bicep curl and lift your leg. We're gonna alternate legs. So on this one, if you did the right, now you're gonna do the left. Now that we've had a couple seconds to practice, let's do the full 30 seconds. As you raise up from the deadlift, don't forget to squeeze your core and engage your hips. And as you come into that side kick, make sure your abs are tight. Deadlift, bicep curl, leg extension. Come back and do another deadlift, bicep curl, leg extension. We're engaging every muscle in the body here and boosting the metabolism way up, so that's major fat burn. Remember why you started this workout and remember your goals. Really push yourself right now and challenge yourself to go further than you think you can. Last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest here for 10 seconds and we'll get into one of our final moves. Two 
two more moves to go. Let's do a quick practice of a couple mountain climbers. So on these, you're coming into plank position and tuck your knees into your chest, alternating legs. Are you ready? 30 seconds on the clock, let's do this. Arms are straight, backs flat, pull those knees into your chest. Abs should be tight and you should be going at full intensity. This is one of your very last moves. So again, remember what your goals are. Remember why you're here. You only have to do this for a few short seconds, so give it your all. You're already down to your last 10 seconds, so all the energy you got, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. You made it to your final exercise of the day and we're doing abs. These are lower ab lifts. Let's do a couple of these to practice. Extend your legs up straight. You're gonna be lifting up, but you're not lifting from your legs. You're not lifting from your arms. You're lifting from your lower abs. And if you're lifting from anywhere else, you're not gonna get the most out of this exercise as you possibly can. If you want those nice flat abs, you wanna really make sure you're engaging those lower abs. With your hands under your butt and your back flat on the floor, Lift with your hips and that lower portion of your abs. You'll feel a really big difference when you do them this way. All right, let's finish strong. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Great job. Hope you enjoyed that workout as much as I did. For a full training schedule and what to eat to enhance your workout, check out the Fit and Fearless Fitness and Nutrition Plan on stephhendel.com. Also, check in with me on Facebook and Instagram after the workout because I want to know how it went. Can't wait to work out with you again next week.